All right, now let's turn our attention to the width of the subset lattice. All right, now I'm going to scan backwards for a moment. Yeah, I should scan backwards. Here's the four cube. What's the width of this? What's the biggest antechain in this picture? You should say, well, it's at least six. I see a six element antechain staring at me right in the face. Do you? Look at all the subsets of size two. All the, let me back up one more. Look at all the subsets of size two. One, two, one, three, two, three, one, four, two, four, three, four. If you take any two subsets of the same size, as long as they're different sets, neither is a subset of the other. So all the sets of some size, some any fixed size, form an antechain. And there are four choose two. What's four choose two? Six. Four times three over one times two. Twelve over two is six. There are six subsets of size two. So the width of this is at least six. Now, when we first started talking about width, I deliberately gave you some examples where it was not easy to find out what the width was because the antechains were difficult to spot. There are antechains in the big subset lattice that go up and down you should not think of antechains as just being flat things like this. But having said that, I don't see one that's any bigger than six. Well, back up and just look down at the, at the little one, the, the three cube on the lower left. What's the biggest antechain you see in that? Remember, is it clear what I'm saying? Just look at the three cube on the, on the bottom lower left corner. What's the width of that? Three. I see a three element antechain, and I, I don't see one that's any bigger. So if I were going to guess for the width of the four cube, I'd say it was six. All right, so now let's fast forward. So the width of 2 to the n is at least as large as any of the binomial coefficients because all the sets of a certain fixed size form an antechain. And how many of them, of, say, of size k are there? Well, the binomial coefficient n choose k or c n k. And it's pretty easy to see that of all the binomial coefficients, the largest one occurs in the middle. It's C n choose, well, round n over 2 down or round it up. When n is odd, there are two binomial coefficients of equal size that are the largest. So in a 13 cube, the two biggest binomial coefficients are C13, 6, or 13, choose 6, and 13, choose 7. They're the same in size. When n is even, there's only one binomial coefficient which has maximum size, and that's when you divide n by 2. So for example, the biggest binomial coefficient of the form 14, choose k, is when k is 7. So if I had to guess, that's what I would guess. And it's going to turn out that that's true. The width of the subset lattice 2 to the n is the binomial coefficient c n choose the floor of n over 2. Uh, you can also write 
the ceiling of n over 2 because they're the same. And we're going to prove this classic theorem. We're going to give two proofs. One is going to be an existence proof, and the other is going to be construction. So let's start with the existence proof. 